Well, here we are on, uh, I guess it's March the 20th of 2021. And uh, we're about to start primering on the suspension and underbody uh, of this uh, 1955 Greyhound. And so it's been a chore. We've worked on it for nearly three weeks, getting everything sanitized and cleaned, uh, pieces removed, uh, new parts arrived, sized and fitted for all the pieces and places where they go. It's really interesting to know that uh, this old bus is coming around and, and becoming so clean in how it operates. Um, we've taken all the axles down, all the bearings down, all the oil seals, everything that would normally be uh, quickly replaced and removed. It's been tedious because it's old and because everything doesn't fit any, fit very well anymore. And because somebody else has been here maybe four or five times before us, and they just did a rough job, you know? You never know what you're gonna find. It's like, as I said before, an archeological dig when you're in here. But I'm gonna flip the camera around just so you can get a little bit more of a view of how clean and sanitized all of this is before we start putting on our primers. Now, we've already did some minor sandblasting where necessary, but otherwise we've used grinders and wire brushes to get in all these different areas in crevice and, and cavities and crevices is what I was trying to say uh, to get this thing clean. Now we've sprayed it a week ago with um, um, a conversion material called Osfo. Now that's just a, an acid and primer based product that's very liquid, stings if it gets on your hands and in a cut. And so it converts any rust uh, particles that are remaining in, in porous uh, areas of the metal and converts it into a paintable surface. Now. So it's good for rough stuff. I would never use it on the outer body, but for suspension and pieces like this, it's gonna be fine. You can see where the old airbags are gonna be and or the new airbags are and the new uh, old airbags were. Here's where a bumper used to be and the bumper's worn smooth off. So let me flip this around now and let's see what we can do to get it where I can show you. Um, I might not be able to do that on this camera. Heck, I thought I could but I don't guess I can. Once you start videoing in one position, you can't change it. So I'll show you in another position in just a second.